introduced myself earlier, but I am uh, Debbie McGrail Dinning, Media Relations Officer for the Hamilton Police Service. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here this afternoon. Detective Sergeant Matt Cavanaugh is here to provide an investigative update. He is accompanied by Superintendent Dan Kinsella. Detective Sergeant Cavanaugh will read from a prepared statement. Following that, he will take your questions, questions sorry, which I will be moderating. Matt? On Monday, May 6, 2013, Tim Bosma accompanied two males in his 2007 pickup truck for a test drive. Investigation has now revealed that Tim Bosma was murdered. He was taken to a location in Waterloo area where his body was burned beyond recognition. This is now a homicide investigation. The coroner's office as well as the Center of Forensic Science, have both been consulted and are assisting with this investigation at different sites where we have warrants being executed. The police investigation at the present time is extensive. Two search warrants in Waterloo Region are being executed on properties owned by the accused Millard. Waterloo Regional Police and Brantford Police and the OPP are assisting with the search warrants as well as the investigation. In Hamilton, search warrants are being executed on three different vehicles. We are now confirming that the black pickup truck contained within the trailer that was in Kleinberg, Ontario, is Mr. Bosma's black Dodge pickup. Halton Police and Waterloo Police Services are assisting with these search warrants of the trucks. Investigators are also being assisted by the Toronto Police Service and the York Regional Police Service, interviewing several people from the Toronto area involved in this investigation. Police have received many leads and have many leads to follow up. Police are concentrating their efforts to identify the other suspects involved in this crime. Due to the media response to this homicide investigation, police continue to receive several tips from the public every day. On Wednesday, May 15th, Dellen Millard will be charged with first degree murder. Due to the overwhelming response from the public, police have set up the tip line. Police are asking anyone with information in this investigation to continue to contact that tip line at 905 546-2100 or to call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-8477. Thank you. Detective Sergeant, could you indicate? Just one minute. Just before uh, Detective uh, Staff Matt Kavanaugh speaks, I did mention it earlier. There are many outlets here today. I respectfully ask you that each outlet has one question with a follow and we will go to a secondary uh, set of questions if we do have the time, and I thank you for that. Uh, all I'm going to say it's in the Waterloo region. Can you say which premise? No, I will not say. Pardon me? Two warrants in Waterloo region. At this time, we have two warrants up in Waterloo region, and uh, I'm not going to say which, which location. Which one the That's correct. Was Bosma known to police? Does he have a criminal record? You're talking the victim? Yes. No, he does not. Was he targeted? He was targeted? Yes, I do. I have Abby over here in the red. Uh, how was Mr. Bosma's body burned? That's part of the evidence that's going to be before the court, so I'm not going to discuss that. You can't say whether an incinerator was used? I'm not going to get into the evidence. Again, just one question for all that, Katie. Uh, is, do we have a cause of death at this point in time that you're willing to release, or do you believe that he was burned after he died? As in every, any uh, homicide investigation, the cause of death comes from the uh, expertise that we gain from the coroner's office. Uh, in this case, the coroner's office hasn't been involved yet, so we can't determine a cause of death at this time. Molly? 
Yes, uh, Andrew has been uh, identified, he's been interviewed, and he's been cleared as having involvement. Good question, Scott. From Global News, what can you tell us about the other suspects in the plural? How many are you looking at? Video evidence that we've now recovered shows that when Mr. Bosma's vehicle left his residence, there was a second vehicle following. We do not know at this time how many people were in that second vehicle. So right now we're looking at least three, possibly more. Can you talk about motive? Uh, I wish I could. I don't know the motive at this time. I have a question at the back, gentlemen, in the gray coat. Uh, I guess in terms of, I'm just going to ask about the motive, but in terms of the uh, uh, areas that you're exploring, are we working under the assumption that he's killed for the truck, or are we exploring other, other possibilities? Well, one of the reporters asked me earlier, do I think he was targeted? And the answer was yes. And uh, that's possibly a motive. What was your, I mean, I know, I'm not sure how much experience you have in policing, but I guess what's, on a personal level, what is what's your reaction to it in this case? Well, I think it's a terrible crime, and uh, that's why there's so much media attention. Because this affects us all. It affects the entire community. It affects me as well. Good question back here. Uh, any connection between uh, Mr. Bosma and the suspect? There's no connection whatsoever. Sorry. You, you, um, at the time when you were looking for Tim Bosma, you released information on a suspect vehicle and suspects. What information can you tell us now about these additional suspects we're learning about the second vehicle and uh, the, any information on the possible people in it? First of all, the uh, media releases in the beginning <coughs> We did not list a, a suspect vehicle. Uh, Mr. Bosma's vehicle was taken by two suspects. And we provided a suspect description of two people, one of them being Mr. Millard. The second suspect, we're still investigating. He has not been identified at this time. The we gave you an ambition to what, what, what did the public do to help find this second vehicle? They had provide information on the vehicle. Well, Adrian, that'll be a second question. Well, that's yeah. I just wonder, when do you believe that he died, and when did the family find out? From the evidence that we have right now, I believed that Mr. Bosma died that night. I got him over here for CBC. Yeah, uh, is Millard cooperating with police at this point? Well, that's part of the evidence, and I'm not going to get into that. With the first degree murder charge, are you alleging that, that Millard planned on killing him <clears throat> from the moment of you know, the, the meetup at 9.30 on Monday night? Under the criminal code, uh, forcible confinement raises a murder charge to first degree murder, and that's why that will be laid tomorrow. Okay, ask follow-up as well. Um, with the, the forcible confinement charge, can you just tell us how you could charge him with forcible confinement, or, or what information you had to charge him with forcible confinement before mm -hmm. all the other developments surfaced over the weekend? Mr. Bosma went on a test drive with two males, so he entered that vehicle of his own free will but he was not allowed to leave. And therefore, it's uh, forcible confinement is a proper charge. We have a question at the When were you able to identify Mr. Bozma? I'm not going to get into How? that. How? How? I'm not going to get into that. That's part of the evidence. Question that. First degree murder charge tomorrow? That is correct. Wednesday uh, the 15th. Do we know uh, when the other suspects might be coming in? I wish I could tell you today. But uh, that investigation is still going on. There are several officers still working on that. And uh, he will be arrested, I can guarantee that. Can you talk about the amount of resources you still have um, involved in this investigation? How many officers have on the ground? What's the units you have involved? As the media response indicates, this has uh, been a terrible crime. And uh, as such, it, it's created this atmosphere of the media and the public. And as well, it's caused a lot of police services to offer their services to us for this investigation, which has helped immensely. Uh, today, on the ground, we have 120 officers working today alone. Every single day, there has been similar to that numbers. And so I thank the neighboring police services and the community for those resources. Uh, Superintendent Kinsella has been great for uh, supplying different resources to us to allow this investigation to go on. Thank 
Thank you. The, uh, the public has actually really been coming forward with a lot of tips here. What can they do to help at this point uh, find this other suspect? Any information that they do have, uh, these people talk. They talk to other people. And uh, we need these people to call the tip line and supply information to identify the other people involved in this crime. Can you release the name of this other suspect that you're looking for? I just said he has not been identified. We have uh, Mr. Coleman at the back. Is there any concern for public safety with the suspects not in custody? Certainly there's a, a fear of that. Uh, look what he did the first time to Mr. Bosma. So yes, there is a fear. And uh, we're doing everything we can to identify this person and uh, get him under arrest. Sir, what, what's the story here? Can we assume that the primary motive was uh, trying to steal that truck or was there something else about I can't answer that question at this time. It's a good question and one I hope to answer uh, as the investigation goes on. Can't answer because uh, legally you can't or because you don't know? Because I don't have the answer. I think we've uh, gone through everyone the first time. Uh, gentlemen over here for a second. Uh, can you describe the second vehicle, the following vehicle? The video evidence that we have, we can't uh, name the vehicle. We've had a lot of people from uh, different auto squads of different services look at the video for us, and uh, we can't identify it. Can you give a general description of truck, car, that sort of thing? It looks like a uh, SUV type vehicle, but I don't want uh, I don't want to be wrong about that. Uh, I, I'm relying on other officers to identify that vehicle for me, and uh, that's what they give me today. Any indication that this vehicle is? We have a question at the back that has not had uh, opportunity. Thank you. I just want to clarify in terms of the, the suspects, the additional ones. Were you looking at three more in the second car or three, at least three total? Like, is it including the two that you've already mentioned? That's correct. We're looking at three total right now, but I don't know how many people were in that last car. Three total involved or three outstanding? Three total involved. Over here. Any indication that that second vehicle was spotted in the area via telephone incident the day before? Have you guys gone through surveillance footage from that industrial area? Yes, we have. We've uh, gone at length through the uh, surveillance there, and uh, no other vehicle was seen at that location. I know you did mention, I mean, I know you haven't identified a second suspect, but you keep on referring to that person as a he. Do you have to have perhaps an idea who this person might be, but don't have yet? Uh, during one of the earlier media releases, we released a description of two suspects, both being male. That was given to us by Mrs. Bosma and uh, a second complainant that experienced the same incident. Second complainant? Uh, it was a, a second test drive prior to Mr. Bosma in Toronto area. And uh, we've talked about that at previous media releases. We had a follow-up over here from the So what can you tell us about your ideas of who may have played a leadership role? And what is this uh, now assuming a conspiracy? Is it the suspect in custody, the suspect of outstanding? The, the person in custody is an accused. He's not a suspect anymore. And uh, I don't know the answer to that question. Uh, we have a lady back here. Can I confirm that uh, uh, team died on the day he disappeared? Mr. Bosma died. I believe, someone asked me the question when he died, I believe he died shortly after he was abducted. So Monday night into Tuesday morning. Uh, Katie, do you believe that the actual murder took place in Waterloo Region? And if that is the case, does this still mean it's a Hamilton Police investigation or does it go to Waterloo Police for jurisdiction? First of all, I don't know where the actual murder took place. And uh, we will continue to be the lead investigator in this case. So I understand Dan Del Norb is the CEO of um, the Lauderdale. Can you talk about what kind of operations you're running out of the hangar? Do you suspect any sort of chop shop business or some rumors of that? We have officers in there right now uh, doing a search warrant. Uh, there's several vehicles in there as well as planes. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not sure uh, what operation he is doing there. We plan to call in uh, experts from our auto squad to have a look at the vehicles. So it is auto related, not airplane related. That's there's correct. Um, you said that Bosma was targeted. In the Etobicoke case, is there a possibility that they were searching for Bosma and his truck when they took that Etobicoke truck for a test drive? Is Absolutely not. Question back here. Was there uh, much information gleaned from uh, Mr. Bosma's cell phone in the In terms of suspects, connections, being targeted? Mr. 
Bosma's cell phone uh, led us to uh, the uh, present accused, uh, Mr. Millard, and uh, that was the only evidence that it provided. Okay. Now we have a question at the end here. What's the extent of the work that you still have to do on the two locations you mentioned, and how long do you think it will take? Both locations in Waterloo Region, as uh, I'm sure you all know of what locations they are, uh, we have the Center for Forensic Science as well as the coroner's office up there assisting with the investigation. This is forensic evidence. <clears throat> forensic evidence is very slow in order to gather and uh, slow to collect, and uh, therefore I expect to be there uh, quite, a, quite some time. The uh, warrants that we've had signed, uh, we asked for two weeks. There's a question back here. The the, the picture that's been painted of Tim is essentially a family man heavily involved in this church. By all accounts, somebody that would not be involved in something like this. Have you found anything else about him, or is the picture that's been painted what you've seen in the investigation? The picture what is being painted of Mr. Bosma is what it, we have found in our investigation. Have I? Uh, so the, it was a, it was Tim's truck found in Millard's mother's house or in the driveway. Is she involved in any way? Is she being looked at? Uh, Millard's mother, uh, Mrs. Barnes, has absolutely no involvement or knowledge of this case. We're going to take two more questions. We'll have a question here uh, I have no idea about that, I sir. Yeah. I know the second suspect is a male. Whoever was in the following vehicle, I don't know. It could be a female, it could be a male. Beyond the media coverage of this event, there, this has gone wild on social media as well. The hashtag Find Tim Bosma has been trending on Twitter. Uh, they've been arranging flyers and searches from the Bosma family garage. What do you make of the kind of connection this has made to this community? And what, have you ever seen something like this so organized and so developed before? No, I haven't. I've attended the Bosma house several times during this investigation, and uh, the garage is full of people uh, tweeting and uh, going on different social medias, and uh, it's quite amazing just uh, how much it's touched our community as well as entire Canada, <clears throat> and it's a terrible case. Has that helped in any way? Just, just as an aside, has that helped in any way? Well, it's helped us because we also monitor it. Uh, we've, uh, we've placed an officer uh, to look at that social media and uh, see any tips that might come off it, and yes, once in a while there are some tips off that, so it is important. I understand you have a very terrible duty about Well, it was a very tragic uh, event, and uh, for my team, I think uh, as a leader of the team, I think that's my job to do the, the hard jobs, and it, is, it was a very hard job to notify the family of a loved one, and uh, I'm sorry for the Bosma family. I have no idea what they're experiencing right now. Thank you, everyone, for uh, coming. I, I Thank said you. a little while ago that there was two more questions, so I understand that there's, there's many more. Uh, I want to thank everyone for coming here today, and I do have a new news release for you uh, in regards to what Detective Sergeant Kavanaugh spoke about. Thank you.